Hey, y'all. It's Nikki with the Homeschool Life, and welcome. I'm trying to get my stuff together real quick. I just took a thumbnail and I got all of my books out of order. But um, I'm here. How are you guys doing? I hope you're having a lovely Thursday. It is the birthday eve of His Royal Highness, His Royal Purpleness. <gasps> Did I say his name wrong? Oh, Lord have mercy, Prince. I'm so sorry. Uh, Prince, his birthday is tomorrow. <laughs> and I will be wearing all purple tomorrow. All right, so I'm up. Oh, here we go. Okay. I almost got my stuff together, y'all. Anyway, if you are new to this channel, I am Nikki, and I talk about all kinds of things related to homeschool. Um, I do homeschool reviews, product reviews, well, homeschool reviews. I do <laughs> curriculum reviews. I have some blogs I put out, um, Day in the Lives, uh, or Lives, and, uh, and I've been doing some lives live stream. So just a number of things I'm trying to get into so I can help fellow homeschoolers as they have been helping me um, for so many years. So it's all about sharing all that love around. Okay. So this video is about fun, colorful science books to boost your child's and probably yours science literacy. And we have so many books, but I just grabbed a series that I really like. And I realized, I realized I hadn't really been using the books, um, getting as much out of the books as I could. So, um, oh guys, really quick. We are doing a kitchen renovation and our neighbors are doing the gardeners are doing the landscaping. And there were two angry dogs next door because of the noise. So it's a lot of noise going around. So I apologize in advance. Um, if it gets, if the, um, the noise gets to be too loud. Well, shoot, I guess I could get my microphone going, huh? I paid for it. Might as well use it. All right. So what I, a series of science books that I like are by Scholastic. You can never go wrong with Scholastic. And they are, are called smart readers. Okay, I got a pretty wicked glare in here. Let's see if that's better. Okay, hope you can see that. They're smart word readers and they have um, two um, editions, if you will, um, or two levels. They have the beginner readers and then they have, um, and this is really like, pre-K to K, probably first grade. And then this is, um, I'm sorry, yeah, about K, pre-K, kinder first. That's what it's listed, but you know, your child can read at whatever level they want. And then um, this series is like second through fifth grade. And the series is color coded. So you have Let's see, the purple series, that's what I call it. I go by colors because I color code my closet. I'm a nerd. So um, the purple series is about earth, weather, really just weather. Let me just go through them really quickly. You have blizzards, hurricanes, tornadoes, rain and lightning, and weather climate. Uh, you, know what? you know what, I'll just quickly go through the... Um, the units that they have, and then we'll dive inside. We'll take a look inside. So the purple is weather. And then you have this navy blue, which is, I want to say habitats for animals. Well, I call it habitats for animals, but it's, you know, just, um, well, I don't know what you would call it, guys. Um, you have rainforest, tundra, forest, grassland, and there's one more. There are five books in each little series. And I forget the, the last one. I don't know where it is. So that's that. That is, um, basically, I just call them animal habitats. I'm sure they might call them something else. The red, the red series is your geology. Caves, volcanoes, earthquakes, fossils, and... I don't know what the fifth one is. You know what? 
what what it is is that my kids, I I leave these books around the house. I have a reference section for books that I don't want them to touch because we will need that. Hey, home. Hey, am I saying your name right? Is it Rachel or Ra Raquel? I'm not sure. Let me know. But I'm going to call you Rachel until you uh, <laughs> correct me. But hi, sweethearts. Good to see you. Um, they don't have in the book, they don't have like all the books in that series listed. But um, there you go. And then we have the human body unit. And I do have all five for that. And that's um, bones and muscles. And if you see this series is a little, this series for the human body is a little bit more playful. They have a lot of the um, fun little texts that the kids are saying. You have your guts. Oh, Rachel. Okay, good. Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> and your senses, uh, your brain, and your heart. So let's dive in. Wait, I forgot one. And then the beginning series for your beginning readers. Now look, these books have been chewed up ripped up, you name it. I got these when my oldest was in kindergarten. Oh, I done lost two other books. Now there are five books in this series. Let me see, okay, here we go. So, and I'll show you the difference between the beginning readers and then the regular or the upper readers. So you have for um, space, you have space exploration, space rocks, planets. And then the other two books are um, the sun, the earth and the moon. And well, I forget what the other one is. But anyway, let's dive inside. Let's start with, Rachel, what do you want to see first? You want to do space, weather, geology, habitats. You have a preference? Weather. If not, I'll just choose. Okay, let's, you know what? Let's start with the beginning books, okay? So planets, that's an easy one. Oh, weather? Okay, let's do weather. All right, so we have, child, let's do hurricanes because I'm from Houston and I live through, I live through Hurricane Alicia in the 80s. So, um, and it still affects me to this day. So hurricanes. Now what I like, okay, hold on. I got a massive glare on here. Okay, now just for some background information, these books, um, they have 20 science vocabulary words. The beginning readers have 12, but the upper level ones have 20 science um, vocabulary. And there are three chapters in each book. And each book is 32 pages long. Like every single book is 32 pages long and three chapters. And then um, there's an index. And the beginning readers, the index is pictures. And then in the upper level, um, it's a regular um, index. So what I like about this series is that it's a three-prong attack to help your child reach science literacy. You have the pre... Okay, hold on. I see a big glare. I might have to close my door and turn off a light. Let me do that real quickly, guys. I'm sorry, because it's such a glare. Let me just turn off one light. Okay. One second. See if that's better. Oh, that looks kind of dark, but is that better? No, it's just dark. Okay, well, okay, I think that's good. Okay, so you have highlighted um, vocabulary, and they'll tell you at the bottom that it's a smart word, so you know that, okay, this is something I need to watch out for. So you have a highlighted um, text or definition, and then, I'm sorry, you'll have the highlighted vocabulary word, and then you'll get the definition, and then it'll go into more detail with that word that it's focusing on throughout the chapter. You'll get some more words and I'll let you know, ding, 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 you know, we have some more smart words with the definition here as a cheat sheet. And then toward the end of the chapter, you'll have a review through an activity. So let me get through here. So chapter one, this is your chapter. And you see all your highlighted vocabulary words and then the definitions here, but the definitions are also used in context that's relatable to what the pictures are. So you get a little reinforcement there. And then at the end of the chapter, you have an activity or two to complete, to reinforce or review what um, 
you just covered in that chapter. And then the answers are in the back. Now, if you have a sneaky child like me, you might want to staple the pages in the back, go by the honor system or hover over them. You know your child best. Um, yes, this, this can be adjusted to every grade level. As a matter of fact, if you wanted to, since there are three chapters and there are five books in the series, you could decide, okay, if I have a struggling reader or a struggling writer, or maybe your child reads well, but the reading comprehension is just, you know, you really want to work on that. You can just take one chapter. And I think each chapter has like five to six vocabulary words. And for a whole week, you can just focus on one chapter at those vocabulary words. You can have your child have a notebook. Um, and just write the vocabulary words, the definition. And then as you're reading um, throughout that week, the child can kind of give you a sentence using that vocabulary word and they, and they can write that down. And that way they can reinforce the concept. You can go at their speed and they can really slowly get the wheels turning with their comprehension. Um, sometimes it's just being scared of the words or the text around the words and they just kind of tap out. But I think just a slow drip, repeated use, very gentle and easy to build their confidence can get them over the hurdle of looking at some of these science vocabulary words, okay? So that's one. So, oh, and then at the end, you have, let's see, well, not, not at the end, but um, because this taps out at fifth grade, you know, you'll have a lot of um, the skills that kids need for informational and nonfiction text. So you'll have a lot of graphs. So that's reading and interpreting, you know, graphs, charts, and things like that. So, um, so keep that in mind. So that's the weather series. And I think there's one more thing I wanted to mention about this. Um, no, I think that was it. So, um, I'll give you another one. So our favorite one, when we did our unit on the human, um, the human body, we focused on one part of um, the body where we did systems for one week. And this was great. And why I like these is because one, they're very colorful and they're only 32 pages. It's not intimidating. And, and they write, some of the writing is, it's like you're talking to an elementary child. You know, they don't talk over their head. It's not grade levels above what they're capable of, of doing. So again, you have your highlighted text with some definitions, a real definition, and then it's in context. They'll, you know, tell you more about what that word means. And then at the end, you have an activity. Look at these. Look at this. You can just sit down with a snack and read through this and you give your child a little highlighted erasable pen. You know, if you have other kids that want to use this book and they can just do the little ass assessment at the end of the chapter, one chapter read, one chapter done, boom. So I really like that series. And here, let me show you one more. Now these are old, so I don't know if they added other science units to the series. I'll have to check that out for you and I'll get back to you if I find something else. Look at the colors in that. So I think that's pretty cool. So there you go. Everything is all just, it's really nice. I like, I like color. You know me. I like color. I like, um, eat. I like unpretentious text and I like text that, um, respects the child, especially knowing that at a certain ages, the curiosity and the, um, the, um, just creativeness of the child. You really need, need to tap into that. So I appreciate texts that really try to present that to, um, to children. So, um, so I just wanted to hop in really quickly just to um, talk about this series um, of books. I love series because, you know, once you're done with one and they like it, come on, let's go on to the next one. And you keep going and you can ride that out. Now, here's the thing. What I said earlier, last four or five years or six years or however long I've had these books, I would just, um, we would just read them and talk about the words and the vocabulary. I wasn't diving deep with it. I just wanted to introduce science to my children with no pressure. And um, 
And then with my oldest, I would start to give him like a word wall with the vocabulary, but it started to feel too much like public school to him. So he was like, oh, mom, this is what Miss Spader used to do. So I was like, oh my God, yeah, I, I, we did, you did used to do that. So um, I, I started using an interactive notebook and I really liked it. It was a lot of work <laughs> for both of us. It was a lot of cutting and gluing and everything, but I found that his re retention was pretty good with it, but I didn't follow through with the interactive notebook the following year because it was, what do you call it? Paralysis of analysis. I had so many science sources and I just couldn't just focus on one. So I had a lot of different interactive notebook um, uh, packets that I bought. And I just didn't find one that wasn't so busy, like with the cutting and the gluing and, and everything. So I found one and I modified it for us. And so for the school year coming up, we're going to go back to using that. So I thought these will be great, especially for my younger two children, my rising third grader and fifth grader. It would be great to um, have vocabulary um, in their um, interactive um, book toward the end or toward the beginning. And then that way, over the course of the year, they'll have their own little science dictionary and a reference material that's all theirs. They have complete ownership of it. They can decorate it, write on it, do whatever they want, but it's a reference book that they can use for years to come. And I think that would be a great idea. I don't. Um, let's see what else. So I do have some more books. I have the graphic library that, um, oh my goodness, it's got um, Max Axiom. This is this sexy chocolate black scientist that goes through all the different units of science. And I'll be doing that one. I might do it later on today if um, they're going to cut our electricity and um, I think 30 minutes. So I need to hurry up and get out of here. But I'll probably come back on and do a quick little live on that, a little walkthrough for that. But anyway, um, I just wanted you guys to check these out. Now, okay, I bought these real quick. Yeah. Oh, you like Max too? Yeah. Girl, I would love for Max to be my next door neighbor because he looks good. <laughs> he, he is one nice looking brother. But the concepts are really great. And um, it's a graphic novel, so it's a great way to introduce science and continue with science. So um, I, I really like that. But um, for these babies, I need to see if they have other um, topics. Right now, I know they have the space, they have weather, they have animal habitats, and they have um, geology. So I'm sure they should have some more um, things coming. Uh, let's see, am I forgetting anything? Um, no, that's it. So I just really wanted to get in, pop in, because I said I would be um, hollering at you guys this morning. My lip is healing. Look, you can almost not see it anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so it's feeling a little better, and um, I need to go... Um, get some stuff done, but I think I will be able to pop in a little bit later and um, present you guys some more of those science books and um, and um, whatever. All right, guys, so thank you for stopping by. Um, this is Nikki with That Homeschool Life. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll know when I'm going live. And uh, oh, let me just say, just a little uh, little preview. I have a couple of printables that I've been working on that I'm going to be um, presenting to you guys or giving away um, free to you guys. So, um, so definitely get the subscribe and hit that notification bell because it would be like a limited time where I present that stuff for free. Um, I'm finally using um, my master's degree in curriculum design and stuff. So anyway, I'm rambling. I'm getting off. I will see you guys on the next share. Be well, be happy. Keep living that homeschool life. And oh, thanks, love. And I'll see you guys real soon. Okay. Bye-bye.